What's up guys and welcome to Super Secret. It's been a while I dropped new video. This is due to relocation and I am sincerely and deeply sorry. So right now I am back like I never left. And you guys gonna be seeing me on your screen as usual. So I'm so, so, so sorry. So if this is your first time coming across my channel, my name is Emmanuel. And in this channel, all I do is I share practical spiritual tips and remedy for financial breakthrough, abundance, success, love spell, using the laws of the universe and power of nature. So if you love what I do in this channel or you are coming for the first time, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to on the notification bell icon so you stand the chance to be notified whenever there is a new upload coming on from this channel super secret so subscribers already on grand thank you for coming back once again i really 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 do appreciate and i love you all so right now i'm going to be showing you guys how i was able to get this ten thousand dollar unexpected miracle by reciting these two bible verses all right so now what are the two bible verses that i used in getting this unexpected money i'm going to be showing you guys all i want you to do is to sit and relax please don't skip this video because if you skip it you are going to miss the important part of this video when i mean important part i'm talking about the interesting part where i'm going to be revealing to you the exact same thing i did to receive such huge amount of money so i believe you too can do the same thing and you get your miracle so this is not a get rich quick scheme but a simple remedy that work and connect with your mindset when applied with faith all right so right now i'm going to be telling you guys or i'm going to be unveiling the two powerful bible verses that helped me to attract unexpected ten thousand dollars in my life all right so what are these two bible verses and how was i able to use it to attract huge amount of money into my life all right so the first bible verse is the book of proverbs 10 4 which says a slack hand, an idle hand, a lazy hand, or a slot hand brings nothing but poverty. But a diligent hand, a hardworking hand, a determined and hardworking hand brings riches and wealth. So how was I able to get across this Bible verse? Proverbs 10 verses 4. Okay, this is how it all started all right i have this contract i'm a freelancer if you know me very well in person you know that i'm a freelancer and i'm a blogger all right so i have this contract that has four months ago that i'll be trying to build with my client it will be we've been on this contract for a very long time so at the point i stopped getting messages or or response from my clients for over four months i stopped getting message for this i lost all hope that Oh, this is not gonna work anymore like you know so i just forgot about the client and everything that has to do with the deal so about two weeks ago while moving and cleaning my things to my new apartment so i got a voice telling me to open the bible though there was no particular scripture to open so i just opened my bible the first place i saw was proverb 10 4. so that bible verse struck me so i i flashed back to my contract that I, I was supposed to have at that moment so i was like ah okay let me try this so i started to use the bible verse to uplift myself long story short let me quickly fast forward how i was able to get that unexpected ten thousand dollar money so this is what i did now i want you to get a free plain sheet of paper all right get a free white plain sheet of paper i know most of you might be asking me can i use red can i use blue no please just get a white plain sheet of paper so on that white plain sheet of paper write your intention what is your intention what is this particular thing that is troubling you if it's job if whatever be your intention if you want to if you want to attract money whatever be your intention write it then my intention was to retrieve that contract i have lost hope on if my intention is to get back that contract that which i'm losing in my life i want to retrieve it back so what i did was i wrote that same amount of money i am i'm supposed to get which is ten thousand dollars i put that amount there and i wrote my name beneath it my full name please some of you might be asking me can i use my nickname please don't use your nickname write your full name so beneath it i wrote i am blessed when i come in 
and I'm blessed when I go out, which is gotten from Deuteronomy 28, verses 6. All right, so now remember, I wrote the amount of money I am looking for beneath it, my name, and then underneath my name, I wrote, I am blessed when I come in, and I am blessed when I go out. So now, I, I, I have this belief, or I had faith as a then, that this I am doing would definitely work for me, because these two Bible verses, I read them, and I swallowed and observed them, that this whole thing is going to work in my life. Faith, this is when faith comes in, because faith Without faith, nothing will work for you. I have faith and I believe in the Bible that I believe God that this whole thing is going to work for me. By using just these two Bible verses, it works for me and I believe it will still work for you if you do it exactly the same way I'm going to be telling you right now. So after writing your intention on that white plan sheet of paper, read Proverbs 10.4. Why I'm saying you should read Proverbs 10.4? Because if you are an idle man, this will not work for you. Unexpected money will not come for you if you have nothing to offer. If you have nothing you are doing, if you don't have a handwork, if you are not working, there is no how money will come for you. God will use that money to bless you from what you do. He will bless you from the work of your hand. He will not take what belongs to another man to give to you when you have nothing to hold for it. All right, so make sure you have something to do. That is why I'm giving you Proverbs 10, verses 4. So after that, then, under your plain sheet of paper, write, I am blessed when I come in. I am blessed when I go out. So after writing it, fold that paper, fold it, and put it inside your Bible. Put it inside your Bible. Either you put it on Proverbs 10, Verses 4, or you put it on Deuteronomy 28, verses 6. Put it inside there. We are going to leave this paper for seven good days. That is one week. All right. So every morning before you go out, use that your Bible, pray with it. Make sure you don't remove this paper inside the Bible. Pray with your Bible before you go out from your house. Say, as I'm going out right now, I am blessed. I'm coming back, I am still blessed. Say this with faith. Go out for your daily activity. Go out for work. Go out to school. Whatever you are doing, just go out. When you come back, before you step your foot inside your house, repeat it again and say, I am blessed when I go out and I am blessed when I come back. So, walk into your home. Do it for seven good days before you go out. Repeat the same thing. And before you come back and step your foot inside your house, repeat the same thing. Then after seven good days, go to your Bible. Pray and tell God that you believe your prayer point, your expectations must come to pass. After saying that, that is on the seventh day, remove that plain sheet of paper. Go and burn this paper. Burn it. When you burn it, just absorb inside you that God have answered your prayer. Swallow it that God have answered your prayer. Then some of you might be asking me what happened to the ashes. Just take the ashes. You can decide to pour it water. You can just like decide to strip it out. You can decide to do whatever you want to do with it. But the main aim is your faith. After doing this, just wait. Give yourself some time and see what the Lord will do for you. See how God will answer your prayer. See how God will use that simple practice, that simple uh, spiritual exercise. See how God will use it to open way for you. So this is exactly the same thing I did. After one week of doing that prayer, the next week, I got a mail from a company that I'm bidding to work with so the first night i saw was like i should send my car number the, the deal has been sealed whatever blah, 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 blah. i sent my car number i was able to receive my ten thousand dollar miracle so that was how i was able to receive it that was just it nothing more nothing less so god is indeed faithful he is indeed a miraculous god so do this and come back with your testimonies 
I know God will favor you when you least expect it. So go out and do this and then come back with your testimonies. Please guys, if you like what you just watched now, please do well to give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your loved ones. So